in all recorded Jewish history any relationship that the Jewish people had with any nation that was so strong as the relationship of Israel with the United States. The Americans are seeing right now that the friendship or so-called friendship around the world deteriorates very fast. But the real friendship of the people of Israel exists and is there. While we deal with Saddam Hussein, we must not forget the burdens that the conflict with Iraq has placed on our Israeli friends. I am very pleased that President Bush has included in his supplemental budget request that just went to Congress one billion dollars in foreign military financing funds to help Israel strengthen its military and civil defenses. It is true that we're dependent on, on their support and on their financial so it means basically that our goalless condition has improved in some way. We don't actually have to be in somebody else's country anymore. But being in our own country is not yet goal, because even in our own country we're still dependent. So it's kind of an intermediary step. It hasn't always been that way. Israel hasn't always been dependent on, on, on the United States. And it's quite interesting if one takes a look at in, in the outset of Israel's uh, creation that it came into being in part the, the Russians voted for the creation of the Jewish state. And then the Russian Empire sort of grew. The French were very friendly to Israel. The, um, the Czechs, for example, I mean, in 1948, many of the soldiers used what they called the Czechy because they were arms brought in from Czechoslovakia. It wasn't always the United States. It's interesting to note what happened to those entities as, as their relationship with Israel deteriorated. Now, I'm not saying that there's a quid pro quo, but if you ask me who is the bodyguard, is it the United States guarding over Israel, or is it Israel guarding over the United States in the sense of spirituality and, and and things that we can't properly see with the human eye? This is a symbiotic relationship rather than a parasitic relationship. Symbiotic in the sense uh, that there is a mutual...